by the skin of their teeth. Shootout victory over Greece. They had to come from behind just to get it into overtime. Win and it knocked off his stick. Nelson trying to play it in front, hit wing. And back in front, that went right through to the goalkeeper and Bond had to be careful. It's gonna be a penalty coming up to Hong Kong. As they touch it up, cross-checking right in front. As that shot came in, it went past the two players in front and the Hong Kong player with the little cross-check to the arms of the Cayman Islands player, Colin Wong. He's guilty of the infraction. He'll head to the penalty box. Power play coming up for the Cayman Islands. Started to say after that Finland-Canada game, should be a really interesting one here at Tipsport. United States will take on the Czech Republic. Both those teams undefeated. Czech Republic 2-0, United States 1-0. They won their opening game. Czech Republic just hammered Italy last night 12 to nothing. The fun part of when the Czech Republic plays are the fans. The show in the stands is sometimes as interesting as the show on the floor. Tipped in. For a third goal in the crease, I believe it was Mark Babin. There were two Cayman Island players there. I think it was Babin who got his stick on the ball. Again, just picking up the celebration. Working tied it up. So three to nothing, eight minutes into the first period for the Cayman Islands, a power play goal. Graham to the blue line, no further for Hong Kong. Allard, got it up ahead. Elliott. Along the boards for the Cayman Islands. Elliot circles it down low. And they are announcing it is Mark Babin with the goal for the Cayman Islands. That has become dislodged. Goal time of goal, 7.59. Mark Babin with the power play goal. Assisted by number 91. So Floyd, Dennis Cole, Fischer, and Babin with the goal of the Cayman Islands here in the first period. I'm saying before the USA Czech Republic game should be a dandy. Should be dandy on the floor, should be fun in the stands. If it's some pretty decent crowds here to watch the Czech Republic play. That shot fired wide. So those are two games to mark on your webcast schedule for today. Two o'clock and 4.30 local time, those two. Two o'clock, it's Canada and Finland. 4.30, Czech Republic and the USA. And that'll be followed by another highlight game. First game in the women's competition. That gets underway today. Shot was blocked. Sullivan looking for it. Cleared out over center. He actually played it across, up ahead, tipped in by Pache. Wong doing good work down in the corner. Floyd is all over him. Strength comes in to help out, and Strength comes away with the ball for the Cayman Islands. Tried to play it back, that hit the Hong Kong player, and now they're away. Up through the middle, Sean Lamb. Lost it as he crossed the blue line. Taken away by Mike Bowden. Right back to Lamb. Lamb out in front. Comes all the way back to center. Slap shot from Derek Wong. Ball to the side of the goal. Pache cleared it. Not out. Kept in by Hong Kong. A high over the top of the goal. That was tipped by a Hong Kong player in front. So the faceoff will come outside the blue line. 
And our first women's game will also feature the Czech Republic. The Czech women's team will take on Great Britain. So you'll have fans here for Czech USA, the men, followed by Czech Great Britain and the women. Should be a fun few hours here at Tip Sport. Might as well finish it up. We will have our last game, 9.30 this evening, local time, Slovakia and Greece. Shot came in from Fisher. Bon got a glove on it. Cayman Islands come up with it in the high slot. They'll drop it back. Windsor with a shot. Did not get through and away goes Derek Wong. Straight up through center. Wong in over the blue line. Stops up, holds it. He'll leave it back at center. Just missing on the deflection attempt was Darren Winnie at number 76 and it's controlled by Cole Plomondon gets it back to his defense. Now they'll work it up the left side. In over the blue line. And they can use the whole half floor, but it's taken away by Justin Reed. Reed trying to cut inside. Knocked off his stick and a good defensive play by Eric Armstrong. Armstrong's got it behind the goal. Brings it up around the boards. Kept in there by Jackson. Now it comes out over center. They'll have to regain the offensive zone again. They'll do so with ease. Down into the corner. Hong Kong player goes down, and that's going to be likely a tripping call against the Cayman Islands. And that is what the referee indicates. Here you see Armstrong just taking the feet out from under Wong. So Armstrong, after making a good play a moment ago, gets called for tripping. Hong Kong with their first power play attempt. 11-27, gone the first. We played three 15-minute periods. In a moment, I want to thank the uh, host committee here in Paradibici for bringing in this great weather for us. It's been bright sunshine and blue skies through the first three days. Shot over the top of the goal today. It's expected to get up around 30 degrees Celsius. Not a cloud out there. Fam. Back at the point. Sullivan with a shot. That goes wide. Rebound taken by Bowden. Up along the boards. Held in. By win momentarily, but now the Cayman Islands come out shorthanded. Germanian. Germanian lost it as he crossed the blue line. Germanian doing good work though. Stole it away and cleared it back in. He'll head to the bench. Minute and 11 left to go in the power play. Win. They gained the zone. Aaron pass it. They tried to get it back to win and it's tipped away. Bond's got to come out to play it. Slow to move on it. Sprawls to make the save. See a little indecision and Bond looks up to the sky. Knows he was a little lucky on that one. He started to come out and then slow it up. Well, the Cayman Island player to get there. Derek Wong. Comes back to Wong, the one-timer. Hit somebody in front, went to the near boards. Chia back to Wong. Wong tried to pass it back to Chia. Again, a bad pass in the Cayman Islands, able to get it out. Over the center red line. Dump back in, just eight seconds to go in the power play. And another penalty coming up to the Cayman Islands. As Hong Kong, here we see that play where Bond came out and Nelson with the great chance and Bond just scrambling to get back. And here's that, get a bad pass and down the floor it goes. But over on the other side as Hong Kong were just dumping it in, they were gonna flip it in and then go into four check. The Cayman Islands player interfered with the Hong Kong player was going to go in a four check so another penalty first penalty is over now 
Five on four, shot from a sharp angle. Slipchenko made the save. Jamie Nelson getting the interference penalty on the Cayman Island. So, really a four minute power play in effect. And they score for Hong Kong. They make good on the second half of that. Derek Wong with the blast from the point. Hong Kong on the scoreboard with a minute 13 left to go in the period. Wong just winds up. Whether it hit one of those three players in front, I'm not sure. If we can see it from this angle. It looks like it changed direction. Maybe number 19, Justin Reed. We will get the official for you in just a moment. The important thing is that Hong Kong has got themselves a goal back in the game, down by just two now, as we near the end of the first period. Little delays, they get something straightened out over in the scorer's box and get the thumbs up, we're ready to go. They say just a minute 13 left to go here in the opening period. Well, thought we were ready to go. Guy in the scorer's box is giving a thumbs up to the officials, but <laughs> they're not buying it. The two referees are still saying, hang on a second. They're pointing up at the clock, something not right. Oh, I, know, I see what it is. The penalty had to come off the board. That's what they were waiting for. And that power play goal, the interference penalty to Nelson. That's now been taken off the board. We're back to even strength. Just over a minute to go. Lamb, Sean Lamb for Hong Kong. Little back pass. They stay on side, gain his own clear in. Hong Kong Goal will go to Derek Wong. They're saying it went in cleanly on that shot from the point. So it's Derek Wong getting Hong Kong's first goal. Sullivan for Hong Kong. Will chip and chase. Get it back up along the boards. Nelson was there first for the Cayman Islands. He'll send it down the floor. That'll be a flooring call with 25 seconds left to go in the first period. Mentioning a number of the games that we have today. One I didn't mention was the game right after this one. It'll be in A2 group, Portugal and Switzerland. We'll talk about those two teams a little bit later. The waning seconds of this first period. Ball flipped out. 10 seconds to go. Four seconds to wind up if you want to shoot it. Too late. Time runs out. A good start for the Cayman Islands. They took a three to nothing lead. And we look at uh, Robert Slipchenko there, the Cayman Islands goalkeeper. Took a three to nothing lead. And Hong Kong responded with a power play goal. So Cayman Islands lead it three to one after one period play. Again, just the first of six games we're going to bring you today. We're going to take a little break. We've got to pace ourselves. We'll be back with the second period in just a minute. KYB Manufacturing, PlayStation, Služby města Pardubic, Battery Shop, T6 Power, Quiz, Marvel, AML Holding, Radigast, Stavební firma Jičmínek, Czech Insurance Agency, Nissan Auto In, Partnery Českobrazského svazu Hokejbalů jsou Sabe, Střída Sport, Merch 53, Fisher Hacking, 
Stella, Haven Sport, CCM a Vyber. Hlavní dvě mediální partnery mistrovství světa hokejbalů jsou Česká televize a Český rozhlas radiožurnál. Partnery mistrovství světa hokejbalů jsou AAA Auto, Štojbly, Léčetné lázně Pohdaneč, Katodie, Vodovody a kanalizace Pardubice, Explosia, Sherlock TNT Trade, Alto, Energie AG Bohemia, Marknet, Kalypso, ČPP Servis, Zpráva a údržba silnic Pardubického kraje, Napatax, Comia, EM Stav, Hastex a Hasper, Elektroservis Modr, Finet Pardubice, Tekan, Mados MT, SAM Litomyšl, Bauset CZ a Kopcentrum. Dodavateli mistrovství světa pokejbalů jsou rozvojový fond Pardubice, ABK, Edera, Connecta, Flame, Odrášovka, Bitfoot, České dráhy, Rozenga, Patatuf, Red Tide, Ponte Gettering, Chargebox, Wolfloor, Tiburon, Kohinor, Berser, Finlandia a Frenzo. Regionálními partnery mistrovství světa hokejbalů jsou Aquacentru Pardubice, Atrium Palác Pardubice, Deep Vision, Destinační společnost Východní Čechy, Kulturní centrum Pardubice, Dopravní podnik Pardubice, McDonald's, Dostihový spolek Pardubice, HC Dynamo Pardubice, Letiště Pardubice, Golf Resort Pardubická hra, Regionální rozhodná agentura Pardubické kraje.
Jake je tam tomu otevřek pár dobice se zabývá výrobou přesných mechanických dílů do převodovek a řízení. Tato společnost umí o své zaměstnance pečovat, proto se pro rok 2017 stala nejlepším zaměstnavatelem regionu. Staňte se tedy součástí něčeho, co má smysl. www.jake.pomočka.pa.com Máte zájem pracovat ve stabilní společnosti? Neváhej a kontaktuj nás. Předměte na naší činnosti je výstavba, rekonstrukce a opravy inženýrských sítí, úprava vodních toků, výstavba hrází a monolitických betonových konstrukcí. Vlastní technologickým vybavením a kapacitou provádíme jádrové vrtání a nabízíme půjčování stavební mechanizace od drobné až po velké stavební stroje. Kvis Pardubice, již 25 let s vámi. Three to one, Cayman Islands lead Team Hong Kong after 15 minutes of play. Cayman Islands got out to a quick three to nothing lead. Goals by Mark Babin, Ryan Poole. Organized. <laughs> Kaya Floyd, Ryan Pohl, and Mark Babin scoring for the Cayman Islands, and then Derek Wong responding late for Hong Kong on a power play. So we had three to one after. One period of play, and an interesting note to start the third period a goaltending change for Hong Kong. Vincent Vaughn started, gave up three goals, and also was very indecisive coming in to play the ball. That led to another great scoring chance for the Cayman Islands. So the coach, Terry Wong, has decided to make a change. Matthew Liu will come in and play goal for Hong Kong to start this second period. Still Robert Slipchenko in goal for the Cayman Islands. The Hong Kong coach probably sensing a little bit of well, lack of confidence in his starting goaltender after that first period, let's say. Notice something wasn't quite right with Bon. Makes the change. See that sparks the Hong Kong team a little bit. 
Pass into the feet of Kyle Floyd of the Cayman Islands at the blue line. Kept in though. Pache down into the corner for Floyd. In there as well as Remy Monaco for Hong Kong. Big collision over along the boards. As I mentioned before, it's no checking. It doesn't mean it's not physical. It doesn't mean there's not a lot of contact. Ball sent down the floor. We'll get a face off back down to our left like to the Hong Kong, Kong end of the floor. Just 50 seconds gone here in the second. Came along with a chance and Lou with his first test, comes up with a good save. Brought in over the blue line. Pass across in front, great chance in front, sliding save by Slipchenko, stacked the pads, and he robbed Justin Reed, who had it all alone in front. Great chance for Hong Kong early in this second. A great job by Loki Kwan down that right side to get free. Got around the Cayman Island defender. Ball just skipped a little bit on Reed. Couldn't quite one time it. And that gave Slipchenko a chance to slide across. Also, defender got a stick in there, as you could see. That was Germanian for the Cayman Islands. If Reed had been able to take that first pass cleanly, I think he may have had himself a marker. Again, it comes out in front dangerously. Hong Kong unable to keep it in. They'll come out over the red line, but they do maintain possession. That's picked off. Brought in. Nelson with a shot. Looking short side, it went wide over on the boards. Clayton Chia trying to track it down, ran into a couple of Cayman Island players, and back they come. Armstrong holds up, gets it to Nelson. Nelson feeds it in front, or at least was trying to feed it in front. It went off Hung Win. And now a penalty is going to be called against Win. As he knocked down Nelson along the boards. Boarding will be the call. Lynn heads to the penalty box. Power play for the Cayman Islands. Comes at the 206 mark. You see Hung Win. Down the floor right away. The well, Cayman Islands will start deep in their own end. Armstrong. Walking it slowly up the floor. Whistle goes, again, an issue with the clock. It didn't start, it was the penalty was at 2.06. It's only showing 2.08 on the clock right now and only two seconds having gone off the penalty and clearly that's not right. See how much time they add. It was 2.08 when they stopped at 2.14. So they added six seconds. So they're saying eight seconds had elapsed from the time of the face-off to the time they noticed the clock hadn't started, or was late starting. Game Islands gained the zone. Good play by Elliott. In front, looking for strength. Strength in behind the goal. Paul strength. Ball bounces out in front. Couple of players take a swing at it. Finally, it settles down and cleared away by Hong Kong. Armstrong up at the blue line. Yes, it came in over the blue line, so they've got the offensive zone. Yermanian down to strength. Back to Yermanian. The point man is Armstrong. Doesn't shoot it. Over here in the near side, Pache back to Armstrong. The ball was deflected by a Cayman Islands player, so the faceoff will come out over the blue line. Cayman 
Solomon Islands changing up their power play. Out there now is Celine, Fisher, Plomondon, Nelson. And over on the right side going in now, that's Ryan Pull, number 11. Hong Kong, though, win the faceoff. Get it up along the boards. Cut off there by Fisher. Plomondon. Back to Fisher. Selen. To Yermanian, back to Selen. Fisher. Down low. Plomondon. Back to Fisher. They're moving around. Patient. Shot finally coming in. Easy save. No traffic in front at all. Lou saw that all the way. Fisher. Selen. Down low. This shot in. Lou with the windmill. Makes a good glove save. Matthew Liu come into the game. Start the second period. Facing the starting goal in there. Bon, and then you see there's absolutely no traffic in front. That becomes an easy save. Put some bodies in there. Not so easy. And there's the, I got it. I'm going to show it to you safe from Liu. Fisher, blocked easily. Hong Kong will bring it out. Penalty is now over. We're back to five aside. Fisher gets it to Selin. Hong Kong changing up. Up ahead to Mike McDonald. McDonald off the boards, gets it to Ryan Poole. Caught up a little bit in the referee there, but they're in over the blue line, pull, shakes off a check, gets a shot, that goes wide. Ball flipped high in the air, race to it. Good work there by the Cayman Islands defender, but getting to it then is Pham. And around behind the goal, the wraparound, and Slipchenko quick to move to his right to shut the door over by that post. Bam, from a sharp angle, Slipchenko made the save. In around behind the goal, it comes up along the near boards. Pinching in, doing a good job. Was Winia. Finally, the ball bounces into Slipchenko. There's gonna be a penalty to Hong Kong. Kwan. We'll get a call for slashing. He went crashing into the goal post at the end of this play, but just before that, it's called for the slash. And it's, the call is going for that ball after it was covered by the goalkeeper. That's where the slash was, a little tap on the glove. And I'm wondering if maybe there was some directive to the officials to start calling that because we were with us last night the Czech Republic and Italy ended up 12 nothing for the Czech Republic and the Italians were very upset after that game was out of hand a big lead for the Czech Republic they kept going after the goalkeeper and there was a lot of that sort of Just stuff happening a little accent the goalkeeper looking for a loose ball and the Italians, especially where they were behind by at that point, seven, eight, nine, ten goals, really took offense to it, and the game got nasty at the end. And there you see just a little poke at the at the ball while it was under the glove of the goalkeeper, and the referees call the penalty. Maybe they've been told to not put up with that stuff anymore. Right in front, big save by Lou, Rob Germanian. Armstrong, back to Yermanian. Yermanian holding it. Good battle in front of the goal. It comes in. Fanning on it was Pache. He had a great chance in front. Ball went off the heel of his stick. Interference will be the call. At this point, I'm not sure who it's going against. Looks like it's gonna go against Hong Kong. They'll be two men short. There was a big battle in front of the goal. You see Yermanian's chance. Set up by Pache. And just after that, Pache had a great chance and the ball go off the heel of his stick. And you may see that one here. And there's Pache. 
And in front of the goal, the interference call. Darren Winia picks up the interference call. So 109 left to go in the first penalty, an extended five on three opportunity here for the Cayman Islands. They'll have to start deep in their own end as Hong Kong won the face off. Great battle over along the boards. Hong Kong come up with it, but just outmanned. Can't get it out. Nelson will set up along the half boards. Threw it across, looking for Ryan Poole. And the ball actually ended up going off his foot and up and out of play as he missed it. On a diagonal pass. Good play by Remy Monaco. I think he got a stick on it first. Then it went off pull and up and out of play. Again, Hong Kong winning the faceoff. That's helping kill this penalty. Get it down the floor once again. Back at the blue line. Selin. Shot came in from the right side wide. Fisher's got it. Back to Selin. Fisher, top of the circle. And he'll move it to the wall. Down into the corner. Selin. The one-timer tipped in front, up and out of play. Off of Nelson of the Cayman Islands. Again, the face-off will come out. Down to just a five-on-four man advantage now for the Cayman Islands. Great work by Hong Kong. You see that shot come in and reflect off Nelson. Big part of that penalty kill was winning those face-offs in their own end. That allowed them to control the ball and get it down the floor. Still a five on four power play. Pass was picked off and again, Cayman Islands sent back into their own end. Stepchenko moves it up ahead to Armstrong. Up the blue line and picked off. Loki Kwan was tripped up at the blue line. He tried to get away short handed. That'll even things up. We'll go four on four for 23 seconds. Juan stealing that, tried the little flip and then chase it. Armstrong knew he was in trouble. And just gave Juan the little bump. You see Armstrong in the penalty box. 23 seconds left to go in the penalty to Hong Kong. So it's four on four right now. Hong Kong with a chance that shot went off a body. Look at Slipchenko. He likes to come out and play it. Time 22 for the eight. Backhand in. For player number 19. The remaining he can't catch up to, and that was dumped from the wrong side of the red line. So that'll be a flooring call against the Cayman Islands. Three seconds left to go on the penalty to Darren Winia of Hong Kong. Then Hong Kong will go on the power play. Scott Elliott of Team Cayman Islands, number 21 there. Chia against Yermanian. Yermanian wins the face off cleanly and he will turn and go. Hong Kong now on the power play. Hong Kong is at the the blue line they come towards the goal, all the way to the goal. Slipchenko made the save. Hong Kong control it. Wong, back at the point, one timer. And a big shot from the point goes well wide. Eric Wong, he's the goal scorer, back to 
defense partner along with the shot that one hit somebody in front fam in the corner fam back at the point Derek Wong with the shot actually it's Derek Wong 48 was the goal scorer Colin Wong is number 12 we hit the ball a moment ago teams will make changes. 42 seconds left to go. There's a shot coming in from Derek Wong. Saved by Smithchenko. And no rebound. Key part of that. And this time it's the Cayman Islands. Shorthanded to win the faceoff. Get the ball down the floor but quickly back up. Good play by Lou, the goalkeeper to move it up the floor quickly. But getting to it first was Gail Selin for Cayman Islands. Played it down the floor. 20 seconds left to go in the man advantage. Cleared away by Paul Strenk and out. That got past Win at center. Hong Kong got it over the blue line but then turned it over. That'll do it. Back to even strength. Well, neither team able to capitalize on their power plays here in this second period. Three to one after the first 15 minutes. It is still three to one. Kyle Floyd trying to track it down. Lou comes out, covers it up. Face off will be to his left. 10.02 left, or 10.02 rather gone. In this second period, 4.58 left. Cayman Islands bench, the team leading by two right now. They are going to redo that faceoff. Cayman Islands trying to get in a late change. The referee denies it. Mike Bowden has to stay on. They're saying Ryan Cole won the faceoff using his feet, so he's been waved out. Faceoff was won cleanly by the Cayman Islands. Ryan Cole fanned on the one-timer. Armstrong able to keep it in. Got it over to Floyd. Back in around behind the goal. Pache lost it. Taken away by Wong. Wong will drop it back and then get it back again over along the fire boards. We're back behind the goal to Monaco. Monaco a little trouble with it. Floyd was pestering him. And finally, good outlet pass. He had tried the little drop pass or Chang that didn't connect. Sent back down the floor, but Hong Kong are there, so no flooring. Long slap pass up at the blue line, connected, but then Yue mishandled it for Hong Kong. Monaco around the boards. Cayman Islands keep it in. Try to get the pass to Fisher. He's got to come over here on the near side and pick it up. Fisher. He's got it back now. Fisher winds up. Missed far side. Kept in over there by Cal Salin. He's knocked down. Ball comes through the high slot. Some of the players in the Hong Kong bench giving it to Nelson of Cayman Islands are knocking down the player in front. Weren't happy with that.
into the corner. Hong Kong on at first. Justin Reed turning back at the point. Shot tipped. That just went wide. Good deflection. Again, Hong Kong keep it in. Clayton Chia. Back at the point, another shot comes in. Save made that time by Slipchenko. That was Chia who had the deflection a moment ago as well. Almost got a pass, Slipchenko taken away by Elliott. Scott Elliott. Towards the goal, Lou forced to make the save. Ball comes out. And coming out to play it, Slipchenko got there before Pham of Hong Kong, who was in behind everybody. Knocked down by Marley. Up ahead, Yermanian. Elliott shot. Lou with the save. Elliott's got it behind the goal. Watched by Jackson. He'll put it back in around behind the goal again. Babin. Pull coming in to help out. Pull comes away with it. Spins away from Quan. Ryan Pull doing good work. He's thought. Elliott, maybe a little too fancy, trying to go between the feet. Up ahead comes Trung Pham in front, diving to try and get to it. And diving because he was tripped. Son Pham, and now it'll be a penalty coming up to the Cayman Islands. Hong Kong have the extra attacker out there on the delayed penalty. The goaltender's gone to the bench. Long. Up ahead, tried to get it to Fan, touched up by the Cayman Islands. And with a minute, nine seconds left to go in the second period, Hong Kong will go back on the power play once again. Let's see a pass up ahead to Fan, and then through the middle, tries to spring Sun Fan, and he is tripped up by Elliott. Fam to Fam on that pass, Trung and Son. Power play, Hong Kong trailing by two. Fam back at the point. Wong down into the corner, they'll move it around. Derek Wong over to Trung Fam. Son Fam, fanned on it. Fan. Wong. Got Colin and Derek Wong. Tram Fam and Andrew Jackson on the power play. Sorry, Jared Jackson. Andrew Jackson was somebody else altogether. Derek Wong. Shot. Over the top of the goal, rebound, cleared away to the boards. Colin Wong. Son Pham. To the goal. Try to get it to Chang, who's out there now. And it is cleared the length of the floor. And that'll do it with just three seconds left to go in the period. When we come back to start the third, Hong Kong will have 51 seconds left to work on their power play with the man advantage. All the scoring in the first period. No scoring in the second. Goaltending change to start the second. There you see the new goaltender. That is Matthew Liu, who came in to replace Vincent Bonner to start off the second for Hong Kong. We'll step aside. We'll be back with the third period of this game. Hong Kong on the power play when we come back. You're watching the 2017 ISBHF World Ball Hockey Championships from Pardubica in the Czech Republic. Garanti pěšnou spíše na hokejbalový slon, ministrem pro školství, mládeže a chylavýchově, agentura Čet Turizmu, Pardubický kraj, statutární město Pardubice, generálními partnery městnosti se na hokejbalový slon, Česká podnikatelská pojišťovna a Firex Technology. Hlavní partnery městnosti se na hokejbalový slon, Čet, KYB Manufacturing, 
PlayStation, služby města Pardubec, Battery Shop, T6 Power, Quiz, Marvel, AML Holding, Radigast, stavební firma Jičmínek, Czech Insurance Agency, Nissan Auto In, partnery Českomorského svazu hokejbalu jsou Sabe, Střída Sport, Merch 53, Fisher Hockey, Stilma, Heyduk Sport, CCM a Vidbar. Hlavními mediálními partnery mistrovství světa hokejbalu jsou Česká televize a Český rozhlas Radio Žlina. Partnery mistrovství světa hokejbalu jsou AAA Auto, Štojbly, Léčebné lázně Bohdaneč, Ketodie, Vodovody a kanalizace Pardubice, Explosia, Sherlock, TNT Trade, Alupo, Energie AG Bohemia, Marknet, Kalypso, ČPP Servis, Zpráva a údržba silnic Pardubického kraje, Napatrax, Comia, EM Stav, Hastex a Hasprav, Elektroservis Modr, Firet Pardubice, Tekam, Mados MT, SAM Lipomyšlí, Bauset CZ a Top Centrum. Dodavateli mistrovství světa pokejbalů jsou rozvojový fond Pardubice, ABK, Edera, Konekta, Flejny, Odrášovka, Pitfood, České dráhy, Rozengard, Patapuf, Red Tide, Bonte Gettering, Chargebox, Wolfloor, Tiburon, Kohinova, Berser, Finlandia a Frenzo. Regionálními partnery vyslovní si tam hokejbalů jsou Aquacentrum Pardubice, Atrium Palác Pardubice, Deep Vision, Destinační společnost Východní Čechy, Kulturní centrum Pardubice, Dopravní podnik Pardubice, McDonald's, Dostihový spolek Pardubice, HC Dynamo Pardubice, Letiště Pardubice, Golf Resort Kulturická hora a Regionální rozvojová agentura Pardubického kraje.
No scoring in that second period. There were five penalties. Three called against Hong Kong, two to the Cayman Islands. All of them killed off, of course. So the score after one period is the same now that we have after two periods. 3-1, Cayman Islands lead Hong Kong. Goaltending change for Hong Kong seems to have paid off. They played Cayman Islands even in that period. Matthew Liu came in to replace Vincent Bond. Sometimes just a little change to make a difference to a team. Lou wasn't particularly busy in that second period, but made a couple of big saves. Who sparked his team, who had some chances, and Hong Kong will start this third period on the power play. That final penalty against the Cayman Islands to Scott Elliott. Game with just a minute, nine seconds left to go in the period. Shots on goal after two periods. Pretty even, Hong Kong actually out shooting Cayman Islands now. 17-16, four penalties aside. So 51 seconds on the power play for Hong Kong to start the third. Now we are good to go. And Lou will stay in goal for Hong Kong to start the third. Derek Wong will dump it down into the corner. All strength in there first, but taken away from him, and Hong Kong now will set up on the power play. Derek Wong. Colin Wong. 
Back to Derek. Shot save made by Slipchenko. Ball cleared, not out. Great work by Derek Wong to hold it in. Gets it down to Colin Wong. Over to Pham. Trung Pham along the boards. Just three seconds to go and the power play shot scores Derek Wong, his second. From a very similar spot, a little more towards the center of the floor. Scored that with about one second left to go on the power play. And Hong Kong from a three goal deficit early have cut it to just one. 3-2 now. Time on the clock shown 52 seconds, which would officially make it a power play goal. One second after the power play expired, the time they stopped the clock. Academic. All right, new game. After that three to nothing start, it looked like Cayman Islands were off and running and Slipchenko has to come diving out. I think it was Loki Kwan, the Hong Kong player, went diving over the top. And Slipchenko came out. Let's get out of the way, stumbles a little bit. It is the captain, Loki Kwan. Did his best to avoid goaltender Slipchenko and paid the price by falling a little awkwardly, but he's up and should be okay. Stays out there to take the face off. Derek Wong plays it in. Stepchenko out to get it behind his goal. Over into the corner for Allard. Back behind for Armstrong. Taken by Yermanian. Yes, Yermanian. Leaves his way out. Makes the pass across. To Allard. Allard will backhand it into Hong Kong territory, but Hong Kong come up with the ball. Derek Wong. To Remy Monaco, kicks it up ahead. To Kwan. Hong Kong doing a good job, maintain possession in their own end. Now they've got a chance to set up. Derek Wong slap pass just a little bit too far. He was trying to get it to Monaco. Now Monaco's got it and plays it in. Going into four check, Lamb. Stick knocked out of his hands. Allard has it along the boards. To Babin, Babin up ahead, trying to spring Scott Elliott just beyond his reach. He'll go down over the goal line for a flooring call against the Cayman Islands. Well, quite a turnaround in this one. Since it looked like it may have been a, a route early. Three to nothing, Cayman Islands, halfway through the first period. Back at the point, that was picked off. Now the race is on. Kyle Floyd tried to feed it in front. Pache behind the goal, out in front, back to Pache. He and Floyd worked the give and go, and Pache's backhand went wide. Ryan Poole is in there, stolen away. Three on two, setting up for Hong Kong. Colin Wong right down the middle, lost control of it. It comes into Slipchenko, who'll scoop it up. Three gone now here in the third. See Wong trying to split the defense, but ball way too far ahead of him, right down to the goalkeeper Slipchenko. Controlled off the faceoff by Hong Kong. Shot went off a leg to the boards. Taken there by Graham. Graham, his shot went into the corner. Brought up by the Cayman Islands. Strength into the middle. Pass went behind everybody and Hong Kong able to bring it back. 
Andrew Graham down into the corner. Down at first, Pham. It's on Pham, trying to get out in front. Pham shoots, that just goes wide. Following up on it is Reed. Reed in around the net. Reed circling, looking out in front. That pass missed, and the Cayman Islands will bring it out. From their own side of the center red line, the ball was cleared in, so it'll be a flooring call. See a chance for some fam. Puts it wide as he stepped out from behind the goal. Just by a couple of feet, and left post. Great diving play there by Eric Armstrong to get it out. And the Cayman Islands come away. Nelson, his shot, another good glove save by Lou. Tried to leave it for his defense. Referee blew the whistle. The referee acknowledges that they've been a little quick. And the Lou showing off that good off hand, a couple of big saves we've seen him make with that. Nelson, quick snapshot and Lou flashes the leather. Cayman Islands forced out by Chia. Kwan, over to Wong and then up ahead to Reed. Reed. Reed tried to get in front, knocked off his stick at the last second, kept in by Colin Wong. Over along the boards, player knocked down, that was Justin Reed, referee say play on. Colin Wong, nifty little move. Get away from Fisher, tried to feed it to win. That was picked off. Nelson, a little shove in the back, keeps going. It's his teammates change. <laughs> That time Nelson was knocked down and Wynn threw his hands up in the air say that wasn't a penalty and when he looked, neither the referees had their arm in the air. He was just getting ready to complain. Bit of a giveaway sometimes that maybe you have committed a penalty and gotten away with one. Jared Jackson. Would have been offside had Lamb touched it. Well, it came an Islands to bring it out. Down into the corner, on it is Darren Winnia. Here in the near corner, but the Armenian was there, but a great play by Sean Lamb. He come away with it, then he's poke checked at center. He'll try the long pass, a little ambitious. Into the middle, shot good. Right pad save by Lou. As Kyle Floyd get away a good shot from the high slot. Winnia tried the breakaway pass, looking for Sean Lamb. Cleared away by Yaxley. Mark Yaxley up to pull. That was taken away by Derek Wong. Derek Wong with a couple of goals in this game. He'll try that slap shot again. It's worked twice. And behind the goal, Bowden. Over to Yaxley. Up ahead, tried to get it to Floyd. That was picked off. Now it comes back to Floyd. And he has it stolen away. Jonathan Ewa. He'll set up. Back at the point. Look out. This is dangerous. Wong with the slap shot. That didn't get through. The rebound is there. And put wide off a couple of legs by Dennis Chung. Player tripped up going for the ball. That was Ewa. The Cayman Islands just have to relieve the pressure. Clear it down the floor. What chances for Hong Kong on that shift? Monaco. Here you see Ewa 
being tripped up and goes to the corner again. No call. The referees letting them play here in the third. I don't like that. Andrew Graham to take the face off. Combined his name with Jared Jackson back in the second period. Came up with Andrew Jackson. Very presidential of me. Hong Kong again with pressure out in front. Bounced over the stick of Wynn. He had a chance in front if he could have gotten the stick on the ball. It has been all Hong Kong in the last few minutes. Win knocked off his stick. Now the Cayman Islands have something going. Keating fell down. That'll allow Hong Kong to come out. That'll be offside at the blue line. Offside. Pass was a little off the mark. There's a turnover, and here's a chance for Keating, and whoopsie-daisy. Little stumble there. The pass was in a little close to his feet and trying to recover. It happens. Kales Lynn, good outlet pass right through the middle. Found Nelson. Nelson will bring it in over the blue line. That's onside. Gets it to Fisher. Towards the front of the goal. Blocker save made by Lou. On it quickly is Paul Mondam. That shot wide from Fisher. Nelson was one up. Ball never got to him. And it is cleared down the floor by Hong Kong. So as we go back and forth, some chances for the Cayman Islands now. They still lead it by one. 8.20 gone in the... Third period, there's a chance from Paul Mondal. That went wide just before that. Who would made a good blocker save. Paul Mondal was there as it came off the end boards. Nelson was winding up thinking he was gonna get a one-timer, but Hong Kong got to it. Good poke check there, Colin Wong had the ball taken away. Yermanian in front. Elliott couldn't pull the trigger. Wong was covering him. Or Loki Kwan, that was number eight. The defensive play. And it's Kwan now plays it over to the fire boards. Picked up there by Justin Reed. Back to Derek Wong. Wong, slap pass, good one off the boards. That finds Chia. Chia. Trying to get it to settle, surrounded by Cayman Island players, but Chia gets to it, gets it in a little deeper. Racing for it was Reed, cleared away. Sell in, behind the goal. A little bit too far. Now the Cayman Islands get possession. Good move at the blue lines. He turned the defenseman inside out. It was Yermanian. Yermanian stops up. Good recovery. By Wynn, ball put in front, bounces around your mania with a chance, batted away by Lou, made the save and then batted away the rebound out of the air. Cayman Islands stay on it, your Manian. Along the boards, holding off Wong. Your Manian tried to put it in front, misfired and Sean Lamb will bring it out for Hong Kong. Lamb in there with Sullivan, drops it off for Sullivan. Pass across, but on the backhand, couldn't get the shot away. It trickles in over the goal line. They're going to talk about it, ask if it was kicked in. And they're going to say yes, it was kicked in. The referee missed the replay. Now we'll see it off the foot. Lamb in front, it didn't go off his foot immediately. Well, let's see. I thought the referee pointed at the circle. By the goal, the referee has made the announcement. And I stand corrected, folks, it is a good goal. 
I thought on the replay, it didn't look like a distinct kicking motion. It looked like it just deflected off the foot of Lamb. And that is going to stand as a goal for Hong Kong. We are tied at three. They have come all the way back. And Lamb gets credited with the goal. Dumped in. Slipchenko is the player. They hit Marley. Marley at the right boards. Over on the far side, Monaco gets there ahead of Floyd. To Brendan Lee. Lee knocked down at center, the ball comes loose. Great little back pass off the boards. Gets it to Colin Wong. Wong down into the corner. Out in front is Pham. Wong. Wong doing great work. Almost got it out in front, but kept it away from the two defenders. Into the slot. Fam all alone. Slipchenko with the save. Nelson down in the corner. He's knocked down. Couldn't clear it. Comes behind the goal. Reed. Or sorry, Armstrong for the Cayman Islands. They settle things down. And on their heels the last little bit. Waits for his teammates to complete their line change. Fisher trying to get to it. Working against Andrew Graham. From outside, long shot into Slipchenko. Easy save for him. He will leave it for Armstrong. Down the floor, no flooring could have been played by Hong Kong. Derek Wong up at center. Found Chia. Chia out in front, a shot from Reed and a big save by Slipchenko. Hong Kong that close to taking the lead. Wong, heads up, that'll go up into the stands. Great setup. This is Chia, number 89. Everybody's watching him out in front. And it was Justin Reed with the great chance and Slipchenko with the big save. in on goal from the faceoff. The was made, ball bouncing around. Mike McDonald had a chance in front, but that ball would just not settle for him. Chia off the boards, taken by strength, cleared in. Monaco to Derek Wong. He'll go back to Monaco. 3-3 tie. About two and a half minutes left in this one. All the way down the floor, unable to catch up to it was Loki Kwan. Okay. Off will come back down to our right, left of goalkeeper Matthew Liu. Mark Yaxley of Team Cayman Island. Matthew Liu, been the difference maker. Come up with a number of big saves since coming in in relief to start the second period. Hong Kong seemed to have built a little confidence, a little momentum off that. It was 3-1 at the time. They've tied it at three, and here they come. Sean Lamb. Lamb tried to make the pass out in front, was looking for Brandon Sullivan. Sullivan now has it. Sullivan turns, shot goes wide. Lamb on it again. Sean Lamb tried to feed it out in front, taken away by the Cayman Islands. Elliott. Up ahead, off the stick of Babin. Babin going into the corner with Colin Wong. Babin's got it back, Babin's all alone in front. And Lou again makes the save. Up ahead, they were looking for Lamb. He's gonna head to the bench, he's been at a long shift. Was not touched by Babin. Babin arguing he did, the referee was standing right there. And here's that chance for Babin as he comes out from the corner. Defense doesn't pick him up at all. Gets to the backhand and really didn't get a whole lot on it. And then it's tipped wide of the goal.
Face off to the left of Robert Slipchenko. Control by the Cayman Islands. A minute and a half to go in regulation. Bam, got it in front for Graham who put it wide and then the net was knocked off. Cayman Islands lobbying for the face off to come outside, it won't. A chance for Graham, great pass and he was left all alone. He just came racing down the middle. The pass was right on the tape. Now Graham will take the face off for Hong Kong. They will control it back at the blue line. Slap shot towards goal, knocked down. Brought up by the Cayman Islands. They're on the right side. Who's Pomondal? Pomondal going into the corner, battling. Three Hong Kong players in there, and they come away with it. Trung Pham to San Pham. Dump it down into the corner. We're into the final minute. Nelson for the Cayman Islands. Palmondon. Palmondon had it taken away. The ball goes up into the Hong Kong players bench. 28 seconds left here in regulation. Tied after regulation, they'll go to a shootout. Three shooters. If that doesn't do it, they'll keep going. Face off just outside the Hong Kong blue line. Won by Hong Kong. Win off the boards, gave it away. Yermanian with a shot high over the top of the goal. Babin tracking it down over the far side, gets it down low to Yermanian, knocked away by Win. Yermanian pinned against the boards, comes back to the point. Shot from Bowden. Nobody touched it. Face off will stay outside the blue line. Nine seconds, gonna come right to center floor. Nope, they change it. It's going to be just outside the blue one. I think that's a good call. Nine seconds left to go. 3-3 three, three, tied. Oh, they changed their mind again. Couldn't do it at center. Time out has been called by the Cayman Islands. They've got nine seconds to try and draw up a play. Or nine seconds to work with. With whatever play they draw up. Get a nine second play in your back pocket, coach. First of all, you've got to win the face off. If that doesn't happen, it's not going to matter. Face off will be at center. Nine seconds to go in regulation. Cayman Islands have called a timeout. They led three to nothing. The eight minute mark of the first period have not been able to score since. Two goals by Derek Wong from back at the point. Booming slap shots, made it 3 2, and then Sean Lamb, had one bounce off his foot right in front of goaltender Slipchenko. That was the tying goal. That's where we stand. Big comeback for Hong Kong. Down by three. Maybe a chance here for Hong Kong, but it's offside oh <laughs> at the blue line. The buzzer went, I thought, well after the whistle, but that's it. Regulation is done with. And we get three shooters. We call the captains out for the coin toss. Winner decide who goes first. As the score is tied after a no time, candidate shots will follow. Pomondon and Juan out with a coin flip. The winner will get to choose if they want to shoot first or second. Personally, I'd prefer to shoot first, put the pressure on the other team if you can score. 
varies on that. But you last, you always have a chance. Shots on goal after three periods. Why not? 26-26. Four penalties aside. Three goals each. Robert Slipchenko. What happened? They were up three nothing eight minutes into this. Coaches will hand their list of their three shooters to the referees. Matthew Liu has been brilliant since coming in in relief. Relaxed. First up for Hong Kong. They will shoot first. This is Matt Chang. Chang goes to the backhand and a poke check by Slipchenko. Well done. Dick Hanley, oh, what a save by Lou! Robs Kyle Floyd, the first shooter for the Cayman Islands. Boy, quick hands in front of the goalkeeper. San Pham, second shooter for Hong Kong, and Slipchenko makes the save on Pham. Second shooter for Cayman Islands is Scott Elliott. Elliott goes to the back and oh, slick hands. Scott Elliott. Finally, they're able to get a ball past Matthew Liu and it took a great move to do it. One, two, and then pulls it back. Wow. That is highly skilled. So now Hong Kong must score Derek Wong. He's got two in this game. Now he needs to score to keep his team alive and he lost the handle on it, slams his stick in frustration and that's it. Cayman Islands survive. They win it in a shootout, they'll pick up the points. One point for Hong Kong, the overtime loss. Wong unhappy with that, he had two great goals in this game but then frustration as he was unable to get a shot away in the shootout. Just the one goal, Scott Elliott with a beauty, beats Matthew Liu. All right, we will take a break. We've got five more games to bring you today. We're just getting warmed up here in Paradebitza. Cayman Islands defeat Hong Kong 4-3 in overtime. Coming up next, 11.30 local time, which is well, an hour and 18 minutes from now. We will have a game in the A2 group, Portugal to take on Switzerland. Look forward to having you join us then. Again, my name is George Scott. Thanks so much for watching here this morning. We'll hope to see you again throughout the day. You're watching the 2017 ISBHF World Ball Hockey Championships from Tipsport Arena in Pardubici in the heart of the Czech Republic. Dámy a pánové, nyní vyhlásíme nejlepší hráče utkání. Ladies and gentlemen, now we announce the best player of the game. Se mi předává Milan Madiver. The awards are presented by Milan Madiver.
nejlepší hráč utkání s, s týmu Hongkongu. Best player from Team Hong Kong is player number 48, Derek Wong. By the skin of their teeth, shootout victory over Greece. They had to come from behind just to get it into overtime. Win had it knocked off his stick. Nelson trying to play it in front, hit wing. And back in front, that went right through to the goalkeeper and Bond had to be careful. It's gonna be a penalty coming up to Hong Kong. As they touch it up, cross-checking right in front. As that shot came in, it went past the two players in front and the Hong Kong player with the little cross-check to the arms of the Cayman Islands player. Colin Wong is guilty of the infraction. He'll head to the penalty box. Power play coming up for the Cayman Islands. Started to say after that Finland-Canada game, should be a really interesting one here at Tipsport. The United States will take on the Czech Republic. Both those teams undefeated. Czech Republic 2-0. The United States 1-0. They won their opening game. Czech Republic just hammered Italy last night 12 to nothing. The fun part of when the Czech Republic plays are the fans. The show in the stands is sometimes as interesting as the show on the floor. Tipped in for a third goal in the crease, I believe it was Mark Babin. There were two Cayman Island players there. I think it was Babin who got his stick on the ball.